My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Slay the Spy Modern, where we are going to rotate our character... So, character mod. Uh, character mod and content mod at the same time. Uh, we've picked up Marissa uh, after having acquired a taste during episode 200 and episode 199.5, as well as Tuan V1's Conspire, which add new monsters, elites, bosses, relics, cards, potions, and events. All right, I'll also be playing the highest ascension level that I have unlocked at all times for Marissa, just because Marissa uh, can be a little easier than other characters to win with. All right, let's have a quick look at this. Ooh, four elites. Yeah, let's try and do four elites the first floor. Obviously can't trade my opening relic. Mini Hakuro is the only reason this character really goes off. Uh, choose a card to obtain, sure. Hmm... Milky Way, gain five block, draw one card. All attacks in your hand deal one additional damage to combat. That has the ability to be gosh dang ridiculous. When paired with the cards that hit multiple times, so it's obviously our next port of call is find those cards. Oh, that'll do. No, none of those. Uh, Sprinkle Star Skill is, you know, it's pretty good just for incapacitating any non, uh, non-Sentinel bosses. Elites, rather, sorry. Alright. Should be able to either fully defend or kill next turn. Looks like we're going with the kill. Mm. Escape Velocity. At the start of each turn, draw two more cards and add a burn to your hand. Grades to only be one cost. Luminous Strike deal damage equal to two times your number of cards in your hand, zero damage, and Amplify to do it four times equal to your current energy. Eh. Uh, Mana Convection, draw two cards, exhaust two cards if you have eight or more charge on your hand. Yeah, we don't want any of those. Just want multi-attacks, please. Um, I'll lose my max HP here, just so that we get on the best number. Make all strikes and defends ethereal. Strikes and defends ethereal. I mean, eventually that's pretty good for me. Sure. The relic. Ooh, Vajra started to combat with one strength. I do actually like that. Um, having a little bit of a consideration of whether I use the strength potion here. I suspect not. That is actually one really unfortunate thing about making your strikes and defense ethereal. And that is this fight in particular brutalizes you for having done that. Just because there's so many days and so few strikes and defense, your hands can suddenly have no value to them at all. Double defend Rising Sweep and a strike me. So I can strike Rising Sweep here at the start so that I keep my charge up. Hopefully I draw Master Spark for the kill on the back line and we don't. Well now there's the consideration of maybe I wait until I get Master Spark. Mm hmm. Play defend Master Spark to kill the frontline the next turn. Good, I guess. Or uh, Master Spark to kill the backliner, then defend. And now I've got the charge up ready for the next attack as well. No need to rising sweep there. We're just waiting for. Damn it! It's two more cards. Okay, well, I can do the double defense here, but now Master Spark isn't lethal, but it does set you only six away from it, so. That'll get us our lethal then. Molten Egg, whenever you had an attack card to your deck, upgraded. That is really, really, really good for us, actually. Uh, warming up. Deals one damage, adds a Rising Sweep, a Spark, and a Witch Leyline to your hand. 
Mega upgrade is to upgrade all of those as well. I mean, so the Spark is a zero cost attack, which is Leyline is a zero cost attack, and Rising Sweep is a zero cost attack. Rising Sweep, of course, being a copy of something we have in our base deck. So this just lets me blow up enemies with a lot of damage. Uh, deals nine damage from random enemy for every four relics you have. Pre upgrades. It's only nine damage at the moment, but I am going on a path with multiple elites. I think I take the collecting quirk. It's going to get so good super soon. Mysterious Beam, add a random upgraded attack to your hand. Deal damage equal to the damage of the card added. Sure. Doesn't sound that bad, actually. I do want Milky Way upgraded, and I also want Rising Sweep upgraded soon. Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you made a card to your deck. Okay, hopefully I can survive my way through these two elites. Meteonic Shower, exhaust up to X plus one cards. Ooh. So I do actually want to use Meteonic Shower. It's a bit rough. Um, okay, I can hit that. And I can defend and I can hit for 20, or I can defend and I can hit for 32. Seems right to go for that option. Hopefully I draw an extra strike this turn. If I don't, then I might just cycle until I do. Never mind, we have enough. Cycle until I do would have been through the Gambler's Brew. Scott in Nimble cards and then draw that many. Uh, Rooting to deck a for each of you is full gain energy at the start of your turn. As well as none of these are that great. We don't have many Amplify effects in the deck, so. Grand Cross. If I'm not playing Grand Cross for free, I don't want to play it at all. So at the very least, the frontliner is now killable. Right? Yeah. Good. Collecting Quirk is lethal if I defend first. But I do take one damage. Yeah, one damage is fine. Ancient Potion as well as Luminous Strike, 6-6-C. Six, six, uh, deals 11 damage, deals double damage if there's no cards in your discard pile. So that's 22 damage in the opening hand if I really want it. Upgrade all attacks in your hand, deal 2 additional uh, damage to this combat. We do just want to, from this point on, take multiple hitting attacks. So we'll take an upgrade. I can Milky Way Master Spark Grand Cross here. That's actually pretty good. Surprisingly good, in fact. Well, hell yes! And get back to that Collector's Quirk as soon as possible, please. Okay, so the back line is an easy kill. Frontline is who I really want to use my charge up against if I get the option. Or not. I'll settle. Just kill the backliner to make sure that I'm a little bit safer. And we go. Beautiful. Uh, Strawberry, raise your max HP by 7, as well as... We don't want any of that. I want to rest here and add a card to my deck. Sure. Mm, didn't get an attack. Well, didn't get a multiple hit attack at least. I don't want to dilute the entire deck with all those mysterious beams as well. Fraction spark. Deal six damage increases the damage of all sparks in your hand by unblocked damage dealt, and it amplifies to deal 10 damage instead. So I definitely play the collecting quirk first, otherwise I wasn't going to be able to play it at all. Uh, exhausting defense here. It's obviously incredible for us. Mm-hmm. And now I get to kill. 
As long as I use the extra defense and attack last turn. Uh, Bronze Scale started to come up with three thorns as well as... Ooh. Blazing Star. Deals 18 damage, deals 9 additional damage for each burn in your hand. Again, not our type of deck. Star Barrage, I guess, like, with Star Barrage, we can just have the deck get really thin and just use the Star Barrage the entire time. But I don't want to use Star Barrage as my win condition because I did that a lot recently. I want these multi-attack cards, dang it. And unfortunately, currently the only multi-attack card I can find is Collector's Quirk. Shoot the moon. Remove a buff from the air. Well, yeah, I guess I might be able to... Oh, if it's not a boss? Hmm. Damn. I do need to keep these defense in my deck is a big problem that we're going to encounter. Serious Beam doesn't even exhaust, so it just stays in our deck after we use it for the first time? That's wild as hell. Right, 30 damage twice. Fine. Okay, so I want to Milky Way again, hopefully drawing into the right card. We don't draw into the right card. That's fine. This Mysterious Beam... How much damage did it deal to the enemy? I didn't even see that. Damn it. Ben, Rising Sweep, and then Collector's Quirk. For the lethal. It might not have looked like lethal, but it was definitely lethal. Is there an enemy there? Exactly. Uh, play X random attacks in Mana Rampage. I think... Random upgraded attacks. I do want to take that just as a win con, but as, as an interesting thing, but uh, random doesn't really work that well for us. I'm not even going to take it. Uh, experimental familiar at the start of your turn, add a random, sorry, add a spark to your hand. At the start of combat, you choose one of three random cards at cost zero this turn. It's not that great. Uh, Gain energy at the start of each turn, lose... Sorry, on the first turn of the combat, lose two energy instead. So I only have two energy on the first turn of combat. Don't really want that either. Um, hmm. Maybe it's just Ori so that I can find the right cards here to synergize. Non-directed all nades, so deal 7 damage to all enemies and then 7 to a random enemy is pretty good for us right now. Gravity beats, 12 damage to all enemies, 3 weak to all enemies. It's, just, it's, it's an okay card, I guess. Uh, Unstable Bomb is a good pickup here. Back media, we don't exhaust that many of our cards. We can take more upgrades here, but like, they're not doing anything yet. Fine, I'll take both upgrades. All I need is the mythical multi-hitting attack that we desperately want, a machine gun spark. I've asked for so long. Please provide this to me, video game. Real shame, Rudy the Decahedron is immediately disactivated, but... I mean, we are playing this character, so we did have to know that we were never really going to be able to keep ourselves on full HP. One of the big weaknesses of this character, one of the reasons this character is actually balanced, uh, or rather is balanced in a sense. Uh, ooh, let's say, well, 
uh, or rather as balanced in the sense, is the fact that this character doesn't have access to much defense, right? Anytime you look at a character, you need to think not only about what they have access to, but what else they, they don't have access to. Because a good way of balancing a character is restrict their access in their kit to something they might otherwise desperately need. Perfect. I mean, I don't need to do anything here. Yeah. That'll get him. Lovely. Uh, weak potion, no. Earthlight ray, no. Manic potion, no. Skip all those. Mm -hmm. I might want to get, just get Prismatic Shard just so that I can be a different character just so that that attack is not as bad. Ow. Let's go for the giant unstable bomb there and then another Milky Way. Great, great pickup for us. Don't need any of those. 10 block on turn one is really good. So is whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. I think other than that, maybe just card removal. Take a normal strike out of the deck so that I don't draw into them. I kind of want to just take the normal defense out of the deck because they're garbage. They also do need defense eventually somewhere. Magic Absorber. Let's take Magic Absorber and then remove defense. How about that? Give myself a little bit more defense to pay for the defense that I just removed. Remove a random debuff from yourself. I mean, the enemy is about to hit me with a negative effect. I can Ancient Potion that. Sure. Afraid I'm not going to be taking any of that effect, thank you. You know, so you didn't want to burn that strike anyway. Okay, so this is now up to 20 damage four times. Multi-hits are pretty damn good, yeah? That's all I can say. Multi-hits are just pretty damn good. Sundial, every three times you shuffle your draw pile, gain two energy, as well as Blaze Away. Again, Blaze Away is pretty good, but it's another card that is, like, if I draw a hand that's Blaze Away, upgrade, 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 like, Blaze Away does nothing. I don't want that many combo cards, because then all my combo cards can combo with is other combo cards. I don't really get anything done. That was almost enough. Almost. Just collecting quirk for the kill there, and then drawing to Dark Marker. Can only be played once per turn. Shuffle two copies of this card into your draw pile. Draw one card. Whenever card, is, uh, whenever this card is exhausted, gain six block ethereal. I think I'd take that literally just for defense. The others were all multi attacks, but if I don't have defense, I'm not gonna live long enough to use those multi attacks. Absolute magnitude. Deal damage equal to three times your charge up. Mm hmm. Unstable bomb twice here seems like our best play. Uh, probably because it is. <clears throat> Rising sweep and collector's quirk for our kill. Sing ball when any cards in your deck, you may raise your max HP by two instead. I'm not going to take another upgrade. We have too many of them. Fly Swatter. Future card reward screens will no longer be offered cards that you have previously skipped. Great, great idea for us. 
There are so many cards we do not want. Yeah, I'm just going to play as many as I possibly can there. It's really important that I throw out every one of the... Yeah, I'm not I'm not being attacked this turn, so I play Dark Marker, right? That's how that's supposed to work. Um, but it's very important that I get ready to blow up the enemy as soon as all of this is over. Throw pretty much all of those. Enemies are already weakened. Basically forever. Unfortunately, the enemy still has some holy on him. They skipped my first two cards that would have helped. Okay. There's the holy done. And now upgrade, upgrade, and... Easy kill. Whew. Had an upgraded shooting echo to your head? I don't, uh, I don't really want that. Makes me exhaust a bunch of cards, but I don't really want to exhaust a bunch of cards. Mmm. I mean, it has to be. So much damage wasted there, though. Great pick up there. Let's get a ridiculous amount of damage out on the field. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Really? Both of those hit before the dog marker exhausts? Ugh. All right. Well, now we know that for the future. Those rest in the next space, probably. Really hoping the frontliner would have been hit a couple more times there. Would have drawn a card. Would have kept going. I might draw lethal here. Never mind, we drew lethal. Just had to use a potion for it. Uh, machine Guns Mark! Yes! Deal one damage up to eight times. Or eight times, rather. Just just, just eight. Just eight will do. Uh, Starlight Typhoon. Deal damage equal to three times the number of cards that you played that cost zero this combat. One, two, three, four, five, six ish. It's not that good. Galactic Halo is actually like a big block that we kind of do need on turns that we're not really doing anything. So I did turn that down before, but I will be taking it here. Mm -hmm. So we'll Milky Way and then uh, Gravity Beat. Just murdering all of those enemies on the fields. Twenty-four out going. Um... Almost up at double damage again. What? It hit all targets. Then 10 damage again to a random enemy. Okay, so it hit all targets. It killed the enemy that it was going to deal the random damage to. This should be assigned after all enemies are dead. Or rather, not assigned after all enemies are dead, but after, like, each of the damage 
triggers should happen in order so that you don't end up in a situation where like you know you're attacking an enemy that's already dead and missing out on an enemy that is alive deep ecological bomb casket of star whatever you gain block add a spark to your hand we don't really have any synergies with that there's not that much that i still need smith in this deck like the upgrades i guess this boss fight is just going to be about waiting until the enemy blows up because otherwise this boss fight can be really bad Move a random debuff from yourself. Probably going to want to leave that in the deck for a while. I feel. My gosh. Well, we need to look for defensive stuff. All right, then. That's the best I can do. That's the best I can do. You are kidding me, right? Now you give me only attacks? Fine, I'll deal 100 damage. Get myself four more charge up. Mm-hmm. Is another dark marker. It's fine. All right. Unstable bomb could actually be our wincon here if we wanted it to be. We would have to stay in the deck for uh, the hand for way longer. I suspect it's not going to be. All right. Now I can remove Dome Shape Room. Uh, you can no longer see enemy intense with the Magic Absorber. So you milk your way first, just in case we draw into lethal. And I think we have drawn into lethal as well, by the way. Unless I've severely miscounted. God damn it, again. No. I play a few cards in a turn, but I don't think I ever play six. Uh, Runic Pyramid means that I will always just be able to keep the right cards in the hand at the right time. And with this deck, I think actually that's a good idea. We'll keep the Runic Pyramid then. Uh, okay, it's the, it's the mirror. That is something I actually didn't think about when I reinstalled uh, Conspire for this cycle. And that's that I will now have to actually fight the mirror again. That's okay. At the very least, this character is very well equipped at dealing with the mirror in particular. Uniquely well equipped to do it. Yeah, let's just kill the enemy. Uh, which is Leyline? Illusion Stones, 6 6 c No, thank you. This fight can be a problem. We basically need to just become as ridiculous as possible with a random attack. So that they all die at the same time. Mm -hmm. More than happy to hold the upgrade in my hand, obviously. Beautiful. Yeah, being able to combo the right cards at the right time is just absolutely ridiculous for us. I think uh, from this point on, we probably never take another card. Okay, well, this is going to be a little bit of an annoyance. We need uh, consistent output of damage here. Cool. 
Well, all of those uh, strikes just leave space in my hand, thankfully. I think I do need to hold off on collecting Quirk as long as I can. No, this turn has to be collecting Quirk. That's pretty tragic. Thankfully, we'll have the extra energy from the Sundial going forwards. And my collected quirk is back. We're fine. Could have tried to cycle to try and get the kill there, but it's fine. Uh, fair potion. None of those. Riding mass. Well, well, we've just recently done what we're about to do here as well. So you should have a little bit of an idea what's going on here. Change the enemy to a better intent for myself. Beautiful. And yeah, pass one more turn. Twenty-five by five is a uh, hundred and twenty-five. It's not lethal. Um, I have to throw the vulnerability and go for the kill this turn then. Dark Spark, I could actually hold until the right time to play it. That's that's my mistake. Yeah, I should, not Dark Spark, but uh, Blaze Away. I should have kept. I guess Luminous Strike I could have just kept in hand, right? Three times the number of cards in your hand for zero damage to being 97. But the thing is, at the end of my turn, I want to play that. Otherwise, it triggers its Amplify and I deal very little damage. So I don't know if that actually was ever going to be that helpful for us. Upgrade and Milky Way are both better later. Well, I guess we're going all in on this unstable bomb then. Quirk goes next hand anyway. Got him. The boot, whenever you would deal five or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Okay, so we always have uh, unstable bomb is always 20 damage unblocked and 40 unblocked from the machine gun spark. Just heal up there. Now it's way easier for us to kill all of these enemies. We don't have to wait for like a giant collecting quirk. Well, that'll still probably get most of it done for us. Poison potion as well as... Nope. Hell, it's giving me as many unstable bombs as I could possibly want. Do appreciate that. Uh, yeah, possibility is that we go to the... Possibility does exist that we go to the hard after all of this. Uh, deal four damage, e gain block equal to the unblocked damage dealt. So we actually do have problems with block, and we can keep that card in hand while we play all of our upgrades. So I think we do take 6A. 6A is a card that I turned down earlier in this run, and as soon as I left the selection, I was like, why did I turn that down? That was a good card. My gosh. Why well, don't play those upgrades until the turn that I'm actually trying to kill the enemy, right? 
I play the card draw because the card draw can still have an effect. I don't want to overfill my hand either, so I do play some of these. I don't want to be weak when I start unleashing at the enemy. Magic Absorber will be in my hand next hand to make sure that I'm not weak there. Wait a second, I can play low tier attacks. Yeah, the attacks that haven't been upgraded multiple times. I can just play those. Um, empty out my hand a little. Okay. We want to Milky Way defend Magic Absorber. And next turn we go off. Right? So about 100, about 150, so about 300 between the two unstable bombs. And then uh, just short of 300 with machine gun spark. Oh, no, 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 no. But only the first one's getting the double damage. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, this is maybe even a defensive turn. Uh... Very least I can machine gun spark next turn. After an upgrade. That'll get it done. Neat. Top hat. When <laughs> if your head is full when drawing a card, draw an extra card next turn instead. Beautiful. Uh gain block equal to your charge up plus three. Really wish that was good for us. Might get a power potion, because that's gonna be far more impactful for final combats. Ugh, another transient. Um And I think I do need to hold on to the collecting quirk as long as I possibly can. Ooh, Blazing Star? No, not, not good for us at all. Didn't consider it for a period of time, just in case. Um... 19 damage? Yeah, 19 damage defends me against most of the incoming. I've got to remember, 19 damage to the target doesn't just reduce their damage by 19, because they're also weakened. So it reduces it by effectively 25% less than that. AD this turn, and then collecting quirk, end turn. We're fine. Beautiful. Those are definitely the worst parts of our <clears throat> whole completion so far. Ooh. Hell yes. All right, we'll upgrade Go for collecting quirk. Yeah, does pretty much exactly as I expected. It might have. Hey, all right. Just trying to set myself up with as much damage as I can possibly deal next turn. Mm hmm. Unstable as well. I mean, I can. I kind of just want to throw out attacks constantly. Play exclusively attacks and then unstable bomb next turn. Thank heck we had enough of the guild there. Uh, prayer wheel, normal enemies drop an additional card reward as well as... Nope. <clears throat> Two additional cards in the opening hand is great. 
Machine Gun Spark is obviously incredible. Uh, gambling Chip, so each combat, discarding a number of cards and then draw that many cards is obviously also incredible for us. Uh, gain 12 block and 2 charge up. I think that's a necessary evil as well. All right, I'll recall. Hopefully I win through this final fight. Otherwise, that recall is going to make me feel real bad. Oh, it looks like the boss is slightly different. <clears throat> okay, we'll sprinkle Star Seal. Galactic Halo, Rising Sweep, and Defend. Because I can just play the, the Milky Ways later, right? <clears throat> One good thing we have against this boss is we don't have to attack them until we want them dead that turn instantly. not going to be weakened for 66 more turns. Thank you very much. I don't want to deal 80 damage to the backliner. But at the same rate, I'm also thinking, what if I just mulligan my whole hand? Kind of like that. Really? I thought there were two defenders in there. It's feeling more and more like this might be my final fight. Galactic Halo is an incredible pickup for us. Thank you. 92 damage seven times. I mean, that just feels like lethal. All right. 1,111. Wild run. Pretty much, uh, it's, what, the code to the blue base? Let's go for another smith. Hit another galactic halo. All right. Is there going to be anything that will save me here? No, luminous strike. Also not going to help us that much. Yes, it does damage when our hand is full, but we have to play cards when our hand is full as well. I suspect I do need the defensive cards is the big problem right now. Cards, the right cards for the right time. Let's milk your way first. Then go for the upgrade. 28 seven times. That could be enough. Uh, 12 eight times? 12 eight times? Well, 12 five times is 60. So 60 plus 90, 93. 96, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Maximum of 80, 180. No, it, you do just want one single large card to go off in these fights. That is real lucky that that all hit the same target there. That is insanely unlikely.
Deals 24 damage by itself right now. It's not enough, but... Much closer than I thought we were going to get. Machine Gun Spark. Sure again, every time we play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dex. It's actually really good for us. Uh, another upgrade? Fine. All right, Power Potion, you need to save me in this final fight, because otherwise we are just going to die real early. Galactic Halo is a really good card as well, though. Just to keep. Oof. See, unfortunately, this enemy can only lose 300 HP in a turn, so I need to find, like, constant ways to deal 300 HP. Power Potion gives us... You gain two charge up at the end of your turn. Whenever a card you play costs zero, increase the damage of a random attack in your hand by two. Sure, that's great. Obviously, really, really good combo with the upgrade. I don't want to play the Galactic Halo this turn because I actually do need to defend next turn. Unless I manage to remove the debuff from myself that is giving me vulnerability, we're going to be in an awful position for a real long period of time. Um, Galactic Halo here. 6A, now we're fully defended. Don't really want to burn the Dark Matter this turn. I am going to need it later. At the very least, we've got the enemy weakened forever. Those two Dark Matters are uh, incredibly important here, I think. Thank you for that extra block. So I need to deal basically 300 this turn and 300 next turn if I want to live. Ugh. Or rather, if I want to win. Right. Uh, Magic Absorber. Let's go. Magic Absorber. Problem is, I just die next turn, right? Oh no, first card I play is defensive. Milky Way, me. Leftmost card in my hands have been buffed the most times. Still not gonna be enough, I don't think. Forty-eight by seven is lethal. Yep, that's the heart down. We only have one HP left. Obviously, I knew that was going to happen the entire time. Obviously, I mean, come on. I calculated it, so we would only have one HP left, of course. <clears throat> all of that is a lie. Uh, all right, let's continue through. Wait, continue through? No, that's the end of the run for the moment, though. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire modded. Uh, oh, and we've crashed the game as well. So we've been playing Marissa as well as Conspire. Both of them are part of the mod collection that is linked in the description down below that contains all mods played in the series past, present, and future, as well as a link to all content for this game, past, present, and future. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.